Okay, so now we'll move on to an example of simple integration with um, trigonometric function. So we have here an example show that integral of tan x dx is equal to negative ln cos x plus c. So from the last session, we know that um, the integral of tan x dx is equivalent to ln cos x plus c. But why is it that negative ln cos x is the integral of tan x dx? So we're going to show that today. So uh, we have here integral of tan x dx. Um, so we know that... Um, so from simple uh, trigonometric identities, uh, tan, we know that tan x is also equivalent to uh, to sine sin x over cos x. So maybe to say we can also write this as this one, um, sine x over cos x dx. Uh, sine over cos is also equivalent to tan. So for this one, uh, we just have to find... Uh, uh, we just have to let cos x as our u. So, for example, let u is equal to cos x. And then, what is the derivative of our u? Uh, what is the derivative of cos is? It's equal to negative sine x dx. So, as you can see here, sine x dx is positive. So, uh, this is also equivalent then, then this one is also equivalent to negative du which is this one since it's positive and it's negative so you just have to put negative sign then you put du and then we have the u which is the same as the cos x so you can just put u there now as we know integral of du over u that is ln u but it's negative so you just have to put negative ln u plus c but u is not yet the uh, original answer so you have to replace the original value of u which is cos x so we have negative ln cos x plus c so this is now our final answer so another example we have here integral of cosecant squared x dx all over 1 plus cot x so basically in solving this kind of problem you just have or to do trial and error so for example if you try to let this denominator as your u so for example let u is equal to 1 plus cot x and from the differential calculus we know that the derivative of a constant is 0 so that's 0 and then derivative of cot x that is negative uh, cosecant squared x dx Okay, so basically, as you can see, the only difference here in the numerator is the negative sign. So, you can just simply put that as negative du because it's the same, cosecant squared x, and also this one, as well as our u, which is also the same. The only difference really is the negative sign. So, you can just put it simply like this all over your u. So you can just simply uh, integrate this one since the integral of du over u is, uh, since it's negative, negative ln u plus c. And then uh, we have to replace again the original value of our u with this one. So we have negative ln 1 plus cot tangent x plus c. So this is now our final answer. So another example, we have integral of sec 5x tan 5x dx. So uh, from the last uh, session, we've discussed the equivalent of sec u tan u du, which is equal to sec u plus c. So now solving this problem, we have to find what is our u. So our u here is, as you can see, 5x. So u is equal to 5x and our du, or the derivative of our u is equal to 5dx. So as you can see, there's no 5dx here, just dx. So we just have to divide both sides by 5 so that we can get 
the dx alone and then this one so later on we can plug this one as here so so transforming our given which is sec 5x tan 5x to this one so we have here uh, sec u since it is also equal tan u and then our dx is equal to du over 5. So we have du over 5. Now, since we have to move the constant outside this uh, integration symbol, since the constant here is 1 over 5, so we can just put it outside the integral symbol. So we have 1 over 5 sec u tan u du. So it is now transformed as like this one. So sec u tan u du from here is equivalent to sec u plus c. So we have 1 over 5 sec u plus c. And u here is equivalent to 5x. So replacing the value of u with its original value, we have 5x. So this is also equal to 1 over 5 sec 5x plus c. So this is now our final answer.